Nikola is an American tech company that is focusing on e-mobility. They've been busy showing off prototypes of zero-emission vehicles, including both electric and hydrogen-powered models. While they have always managed to be in the news cycle, often for the wrong reasons, they are yet to ship an actual vehicle. Nikola recently formed a new partnership with Rig360. What is this deal all about, and how does it impact the future for both companies? Before we dive into the video, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already so we can always update you with our latest content. Likes and comments help us to understand our viewers and create better content. With that said, let's start. Nikola Controversies The company has not been a stranger to controversy. Nikola saw a potential partnership with General Motors almost fall apart. GM was going to acquire an 11% share in Nikola and let Nikola use its facilities to manufacture the Badger electric pickup truck, now cancelled. GM decided to cut back its commitment when Hindenburg Research, a financial firm, released a report alleging fraud in Nikola's claim of owning technologies. It led to the resignation of the company's founder, Trevor Milton, as the executive chairman of the board. It also caused BP to cancel a proposed partnership that would see the energy giant developing hydrogen refueling stations for Nikola trucks. In September 2020, the Securities and Exchange Commission opened a probe into the fraud allegations. The Department of Justice followed suit with their own investigation shortly after that, thickening the air of suspicion surrounding the company. Nikola had also gone after YouTube critics with copyright takedown notices for using one of the company's promotional videos showing a Nikola 1 semi-truck coasting down a hill, apparently without a working drivetrain. It was described as one of the most shameless silencing of voices. Current Situation of Nikola Nikola is in the unenviable position of being a multi-billion dollar company with lots of promises but no real product or revenue. While the company claims to have amassed more than $10 billion in pre-orders, the last few years have been a string of financial losses. It generated only $95,000 in 2020 and reported a loss of $384.3 million. It lost $88.7 million in 2019, $64.3 million in 2018, and $17.6 million in 2017. The company is forecasting no profit even for 2021. The hydrogen-based truck isn't even to be expected until 2023, although it is hoping to release an electric version this year. The backing out by BP has also dealt a blow to Nikola's plans as it was crucial for the infrastructure needed by the hydrogen fuel trucks to be released by the company. This is a major reason behind the SPAC merger with Vecto IQ Acquisition Corp, which netted Nikola close to a billion dollars. Apart from financial troubles, Nikola isn't exactly one of the companies enjoying good publicity right now. After many failed deals, delayed release dates, product cancellation, fraud allegations, and investigations, it's everybody's go-to example of an all-talk, no-action company. Headlines in many influential media houses basically pile on Nikola. As it is, Nikola is struggling to retain investor confidence and at the same time get them to lower expectations, which is a tight rope to walk. With a battered image, its share price has been a roller coaster with more downs than ups, unlike the share price of its rival, Tesla, which has shot up so much that it had propelled the CEO to the richest person alive. The deal with Rig360. And now for the surprise. It appears Nikola has managed to convince Rig360 it has a future as a maker of trucks, as the two companies just signed a deal which is quite a big deal, pun unintended, for Nikola. This is positive news in a sea of negative press. Rig360 is an established company that services the trucking industry. It supplies parts for trucks and carries out repair and maintenance services throughout the U.S. It has a presence in more than 10 states, operating in more than 65 locations. Rig360 is an umbrella body for seven different dealerships, namely Blanchard Machinery, Cleveland Brothers, Foley Equipment, McAllister Machinery, Thompson Machinery, Thompson Tractor, and Yancey Bros & Co. The deal will see Nikola providing sales and services to their potential customers through Rig360 dealership locations all over the country. 
Details about the partnership will be finalized, but Nikola is targeting having it done before the release of its Tribev this year. The partnership, however, will also cover fuel cell electric vehicles FSEV trucks when Nikola eventually makes them. What does the deal mean to Nikola? The deal is significant to Nikola for several reasons. Topmost is that it is basically a sign of life for Nikola. After being buried deep under negative news, it's nice to have a break. Headlines will carry it far and wide that Nikola is signing deals once again. This is a great PR win. Another win for Nikola is the increased confidence it would generate in its trucks. Fleet operators who are potential buyers know there is a structure in place for repair and parts which are crucial in the industry for maintaining uptimes. RIG 360 is a reliable brand with more than 70 years of experience. Many fleet managers have already worked with them, so this is basically a coup for Nikola. This is basically saying, here's a great brand that believes we're going to sell some trucks eventually, so why won't you? The market reacted to the news as Nikola's share jumped a fraction of a percentage at the news. In the real sense, Nikola is actually building out the required infrastructure needed to make its trucks viable. This is another checkbox ticked on its march towards building a real, sustained product. Is this the shot in the arm that Nikola needs for everything to start falling into place? Will this spur more partnerships for the company that has broken lots of promises, missed lots of self-imposed deadlines, and is the subject of two federal probes in the US? In other words, has Nikola found the messiah it desperately needs? In a move that may show Nikola has not become the darling of everyone yet because of this single deal, even though the company's share price climbed incrementally around the time the deal was announced, it has gone back to dropping. What does the deal mean for RIG 360? RIG 360 is what you'll call the traditional auto-based company. They've been repairing and selling fossil fuel truck parts for decades. This will represent their first foray into e-mobility and they are taking quite a big step here. RIG 360 will be among the first of its peers to make such a move, making it a pioneer of some sort. The question is, has RIG 360 found a good partner in Nikola? Is this going to be another cancelled contract when the next Nikola scandal comes up? It is true that RIG 360 will eventually have to get involved in battery-powered vehicles despite its heavily ICE legacy. But is it ready at this time to do so? We believe RIG 360 knows what it is walking into here as they are in the best position to evaluate their stand. Wrap up. Nikola seems to have struck a great partnership here that can further its zero emission truck aspirations. It could have laid a strong foundation for its future products even if they are still elusive. It is a big win for the startup. Whether the same can be said for RIG 360 will be seen. Be sure we will be following new developments on this deal closely. Keep up with us to get the latest updates. If you think this is a good deal for both sides or not, sound off in the comments section and let your voice be heard. Thanks for watching. See you next time.